Speaking of pets and animals, one animal sanctuary and rescue owner is making sure her farm is ready for potential storm impacts. Destiny Polster visited the farm to see how things are done there. This part is, is always a two person job, but there's only me, so it gets a little interesting. Is she in front of me? This roll weighs a thousand pounds. 72 animals live on the 40 acres of farmland outside of Picayune. Owner Tracy Bellino says with the threat of severe weather, her priority is to not panic, but prepare. We have two wells here, and if the power goes out, we have no water. So I bought a bunch of gallons yesterday, and then we fill up tubs and containers in the house. The dogs will get extra dishes of water. Um, I'm filling up extra tubs of water around the farm for the farm animals. Donors have contributed near $700 to the nonprofit rescue to help the cost of supplies. Even then, Bellino has spent around 2,000 of her own. The tarps will keep that, you know, that side sheer rain and like a lot of the wind out. But it, I make, it makes me nervous though too because then if it gets like really bad, you know, if it makes that turn and then it's too late, then there's, you know, 50 mile an hour winds and side sheer rain and I'm trying to come out here and get dogs out. Bellino's farm once felt the effects of Hurricane Ida. Originally from Pennsylvania, she says each storm brings different lessons. You know, it's just in, it's always the just in case. It's better safe than sorry. And if it was just me, you know, I could I could live on <laughs> some bread and and peanut butter for a couple of days. Like that's not going to phase me any. But I have to I have 72 lives that I'm responsible for, and so they're my primary concern. In Pearl River County, Destiny Polster, WLOX News Now. Bellino, who you heard from there, wants pet owners to make sure their animals are secure during storms and that having your pet microchipped increases the possibility of being reunited if your pet becomes lost.